Hello friends, welcome back to Alan and Law. This is a medical video lecture, biochemistry. And today's topic of discussion is Shergob's rule. Okay, guys. So uh, let me talk about this, and uh, before t starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel. That's all on law, and please do share our videos with your friends. Okay, guys. So let's quickly start this. Shergab's rule. C rule. Okay, what's that rule? Define. Remember, according to this rule. In a double stranded DNA or a double stranded RNA, okay, the number or the percentage of the purines, percentage of purines equals percentage of pyrimidines. Okay, percentage of purines equals percentage of pyrimidines. So it's a simple like percentage of a equals percentage of T or U okay if it's an RNA right and a percentage of G equals percentage of C that's a simple rule and very easy to understand right did you get me yes now I would like to give an example that uh, let me ask you in a question that if okay if a DNA has a DNA has what you call 10% uh, of 10% okay 10% of G. Now, what will be the T? What will be the T? The percentage of T. Okay. So, as we know that G percentage of G equals percentage of C. Right? Percentage of G equals percentage of C right excellent what is D is G is a guanine C is a cytosine right and A is adenine U is uracil T is thymine right so percentage of G equals percentage of C so the percentage of G they have given as 10% so the C the percentage of C is nothing but 10% right right now, as we know, the total percentage, that is the percentage of G plus percentage of C plus percentage of T plus percentage of A equals 100%, right? 100, right? 100%. That should be your percentile, right? No, your percentile can be maximum up to 19 and that's it. Okay, guys. So, let's talk about this. So, now, see over here. Now, let me continue over here. So, 10% plus 10%, that is G plus C. Okay, G plus C equals 20%, right? So, G percentage plus C percentage equals 20 percentage, right? So, that's clear, right? Right. Now, Total should be 100%, right? All four should be. So 100 of this percentage minus of what you call G plus C, that is 20%, equals T plus A percentages, right? Right? According to the previous formula. So now T plus A, T plus A equals 
eighty percentage, right? So, but we know that according to Shargaff's rule, T equals percentage of T equals percentage of A. So, it should be 40% plus 40 equals 80, right? So, T should be 40% or A should be 40%. That's it. So, did you get me what Shargaff's rule is? Shargaff's rule, according to Shargaff's rules, the percentage of the purines equals the percentage of pyrimidines, right? That's it, guys. Thank you so much for understanding this, and thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.